My name is Andrew Rebus, and I am the Executive Director of the Texas Catholic Conference. The conference is the public policy voice for the Roman Catholic bishops of the state of Texas, and I am here to talk about immigration. For the bishops, the issue of immigration is not simply a political one, but a moral issue that impacts the human rights and the very life and dignity of the human person. The church's work in assisting migrants stems from the basic belief that all men uh, are created in God's image. Scripture recognizes God's people as immigrants. And Jesus himself was a refugee. Uh, and as an adult, he had no home. Jesus identif identified himself with newcomers and with others marginalized in a very special way by stating, I was a stranger and you welcomed me. As our legislature face faces an unprecedented budget shortfall, it is important to consider the great contribution of our state's immigrants. Uh, a study by the Texas State Comptroller found that undocumented immigrants in fiscal year 2005 increased our gross state product by $17.7 .7 billion and produced $1.58 billion in state revenues, which exceeded the $1.16 billion in state services they received. Texas, te Texas's tax structure is based on fees, sales, and property taxes, all of which are paid by all Texas residents, uh, regardless of immigration status. In addition to the work they perform, immigrants contribute a great deal to our state in terms of the property taxes they pay to rent and the sales taxes they pay every single time they buy goods and services. Immigration is good for Texas. Arizona-style policies, on the other hand, have several pitfalls and risk decreasing safety for Texans. It is a fact that unauthorized immigrants are not associated with higher crime rates. It is a fact that Texas law enforcement can already arrest uh, immigrants for crimes they commit. We are concerned that the added, civil, the added enforcement of civil immigration laws by improperly trained state and local police officials will result in inadvertent deprivation of civil and constitutional rights of citizens and lawful permanent residents. In addition, if an Arizona-style law is enacted in our state, we believe that immigrant communities will no longer trust local police to protect them and may not share important information about crime in their neighborhoods. We must recognize and welcome the contributions of immigrants to our great state. We call on the Texas legislature to reject Arizona-style immigration. We look forward to working with our legislature and our immigrant, uh, immigrant partners to enact state-appropriate laws that recognize the historic and present day contributions of immigrants to our great state of Texas. Thank you very much. Thank you, good morning. I also serve as chair of Houston Coalition for Immigration Reform. I would like to begin my comments this morning by saying it is obvious and clear by all of the comments that have been expressed this morning that none of us are suggesting that our government and our state government should not be in pursuit of civility and public safety for all. No government can stand up when policies are perpetrating hurt and harm to basic family institutions. A government legislation should not be viewed by the ideals that it is seeking to achieve when written, but actually view as how it is implemented after it has been written. It may look good on paper here in Austin, but how does it look in the homes of young girls and boys who see their mothers and fathers snatched away from them? How does it look from that perspective? I should say, as we talk in Washington, as we talk in, in Austin, and as I'm sure those who were for immigration reform talked in Arizona, to try to get a sense of civility in the writing of policies that were perpetrating harm to no avail. I should say to you that the invisible participant in this room is Yahweh. Many of our elected officials say that they have a responsibility to their constituents, and they do. 
but we all have a responsibility to a high calling. And that high calling is for me, Yahweh, the God of Jesus Christ, the Father of Jesus Christ. Regardless of who your God happened to be, whether it is a philosophy, Buddhism, or whether it is Islam, all religions seem to go against treating the stranger less than human. Any policy and any government that does that is on the road to destruction. History is littered with governments that fail to recognize the decency of suffering humanity. I would appeal, as my other colleagues and brothers and sisters in the faith, plead for those in the public square to legislate and to rule in such a way that all people and peoples feel welcome and feel valued. Thank you.